guys, it's Shalise from Remember When, uh, back with a tutorial to use with your Your Story photo. And it is this really small 2 and 3 quarter by 2 and 3 quarter notepad. And I'm going to show you how to make this. Alright, so um, mine's going to be, my next one's going to be just a little bigger because um, I'm making a different design. So I have a sheet of 2 and 3 quarter by five and three quarter red cardstock. Now I, I put it in my Martha Stewart scoreboard and scored it from the left to the right at two and three quarter. I then flipped it around and did the same thing at two and three quarter and then I scored one extra score line here at the one eighth mark. It's really hard to see. Okay. I also have this paper. Um, I got it from a Hallmark like notepad that was given to me like one Christmas or something. I've never used it. Um, I have 40 sheets of paper here. And this, when you measure it widthwise right here, it ends up being one quarter. And the paper itself is two and a half by two and a half square. And that's why we basically scored an extra quarter right here at the spine of the cardstock because our book, our paper needs to fit right in there. Okay. Now, if you notice, this is just regular cardstock, right? So what I have learned is that if you use hot glue in the cardstock, you can use any your your story, okay? So my hot glue gun is on the other side of the room, so I have to go and put it in there and then show you when I come back. But basically, you want to leave about a quarter to a half an inch of space on either side, and then you put the hot glue right in the space where you're going to put the paper and let it dry completely okay so let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back okay I'm back and as you see here I have a string of hot glue it is a little thick but um whatever it worked in my last one so we'll see if it works in this one and if you see I have space here and space here I should have left a little more space there but um hopefully it doesn't ruin anything so you want to let this dry completely until it's hard, and right now it's still a little tacky. So I'm going to set that to the side. Okay, I have my paper here. I have my layer here that I'm going to use. This is cut at two and a half by two and a half. I then have this little fabric sticker that I got, oh gosh, a couple years ago from Oriental Trading. And it says, I love you. I'm going to go ahead and peel the back off of that. And place it in the lower right hand corner just like that I have this piece of green ribbon and the green ribbon matches I don't know if it's picking up but there is green on the outline of the flowers and the bird and I'm just gonna go ahead and tape this to the back or tape it across the front on the back right about there okay so that is going to be ready to uh, attach to our little notebook and this is dry it only takes a few minutes so now I'm going to go ahead and oh, let me turn this around That looks good, okay. So I'm going to go ahead, make sure my paper is all even on all four sides, and I'm going to, first of all, we're going to bring our Your Story over and turn it on, and that's going to take a couple of minutes. Um, once it is heated up, it'll beep, and it's a little different when you're making your own cardstock um, covers. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and let it heat up, and once it is done heating up, then I'll come back and show you what the next steps are. Okay, so our machine just beeped, and we have our light here. Let me bring this up a little bit so you can see. Now, our paper is in our cover. Everything is even from what I can tell, I hope. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this adhesive side down into the machine. 
and we're going to push the button. And then what we're going to do is put our finger inside where the paper is and push down. And you can feel it start to sink into the glue as it melts. This is different from the instructions on the uh, Your Story photo when you have the pre-made um, folders because the glue isn't as thick. But you just want to press down to make sure it's going to uh, get a good hold. Okay, then you can go ahead and let go once you feel that it has settled. And let it continue its process. Okay, so once that is done, I'll be right back. Okay, so our machine has beeped. The light is solid. And we're going to go ahead and remove it. Um, typically, you would put it on the cooling rack. However, this is really small, and every time I try to put it in there, it just kind of fell over. So I'm just going to set it right here, like that. Dry just a tad, and actually, we'll just kind of put it against my um, ribbon holder, so that way you can actually sit up and, and settle down, okay? So, I guess we have to wait for that to cool before we can go on, so I'll be right back. Okay, so this is all cool. Let's test it. I'm shaking it around, and nothing is falling out. It's very sturdy. Um, there's a little bit of glue that came on this side. I don't know if it's going to pick up, um, but it's okay. It didn't come out, so it didn't affect the machine, and that's the side where I said um, I should have left a little more room. So you definitely want to make sure you have that room on each side of the spine, okay? So yeah, everything looks sturdy. It's not going to move. I do want to go ahead and fold. Ah, one thing is that the glue did come up. I'm sorry. One thing is the glue did come up on this side, so it's not going to fold back where I scored it. So I probably should have scored it at about a quarter of an inch or used less glue. So, but it's trial and error. You, you live in your learn. So let's go ahead and attach this. And I am going to line this up with the score mark because it is an eighth of an inch and you want about an eighth of an inch all the way around. Okay. I am then going to take another piece of the green ribbon. I'm just going to tie a knot. I think I want it. Let's see. No, I want it on the side. ends. Okay. Then instead of the heart for the eye, I want a piece of balloon. So I'm just looking to see what color. Okay, good. I do have red. So I'm going to take a medium little balloon and just put it on the eye. That's why I love you. Just to dress it up a little bit. Okay. And we're done. As simple as that. So you can, you don't have to buy those covers for the My Story. You can if they, if you want to, because they are absolutely beautiful. But this is much cheaper. Just so you know. Um, so yeah, I'm going Your Story crazy. So I'm going to be doing some more books and some journals and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm sure I'll have some videos very soon for you to take a look at. So until then, I hope you like this tutorial, and until next time, stay creative.